The very definition of the word woman is in dispute. Can someone please provide me with a definition of what a woman is? I think Just a simple perhaps, one. Perhaps to give a, a more fulsome answer, we should take that on notice. You're going to take on notice yeah. the question of what a woman is. And there are a number of cases that are currently running in the courts where the definition of the word woman is being contested. My name is Roxy Tickle. I'm a trans woman. Tickle wanted to use the female-only app Giggle. It is basically the government versus Giggle. It's obviously it's the Sex Discrimination Act, which is what's, what's at stake here. The definition of man and woman is no longer biological. Labor government last night introduced legislation that enables children as young as 12 to change sex on their birth certificate. And if mum and dad don't agree, then the child can go to the court. I mean, what we're seeing here is a, a manipulation of reality. The Woman of the Year Award goes to Dylan Mulvaney. A person's self-declared identity is overriding biological sex. You know, we really do need to push back because we are going to start to see some really awful examples uh, where men are going to be coming into sports and really injuring girls or getting into spaces um, where women are going to be self-excluding, homeless shelters, domestic violence. So it's already happening, Alexandra. This is the thing. Uh, back in 2019, Maria McLaughlin, who was a 60-year-old woman, she was attacked by a young male who identified as trans. It was assault with battery. And because she didn't go along with the preferred pronouns in court, his punishment was reduced. In the ACT, one man uh, did not have to be held on bail despite committing a series of um, sexual offences uh, and abuse against a young woman because the magistrate said, oh, I couldn't possibly imagine you being held in the men's prison, so we'll let you go out into the community and be able to go into any sort of uh, women-only space. When women aren't going along with the preferred pronouns of men who identify as women and are then subsequently put into women's jails and these women don't go along with it, uh, they, are, they are punished, they're put into solitary, their sentences are extended. Are there enough people who actually want to change this or do you find that there's a general movement that, no, no, we want to continue with this and until a tragedy happens, we're going to totally ignore it? Well, I mean, there have already been tragedies that have happened. There have already been women raped and impregnated in prison. A transgender female impregnating two other biological female inmates. Several years ago, I was actually contacted by a woman in New Zealand. Um, there was a man over there who murdered multiple women. And she actually had been attacked by this man and had managed to survive. Now, he'd been sent for retrial on three separate occasions. And the third time this happened, uh, this man was now identifying as a woman and she had to refer to her attacker who, had he succeeded, would have raped and murdered her um, using female pronouns. You have to take an oath not to lie in court and then the court turns around and says, except you must lie about this. The legislators who are putting this forward who might be just you know, listening to the rainbow activists who are saying, yes, this is kind and inclusive, and they're not taking it to its logical conclusion. When this is the very issue in dispute, well, I think that definitely raises some concerns and some issues.